Hey, it's Monica B, creator of HeyMonicaB.com, a blooming resource on Ayurveda and author of In Your Elements, a blooming Ayurveda guide to creating your best life. Do you know what is happening right now? We are transitioning in the Northern Hemisphere from Pitta season to Vata season. And so we're kind of in that little area that's called Ritu Sandhi, which means the joints or the joining of two seasons. So it's the transitioning from one into the other. In North America, we are finishing up summer and we're rolling right into fall. So we might start to feel a little bit more Vata-esque at the moment as we get a little bit more busy with our schedule. Maybe we feel a little more overwhelmed. Maybe we feel like we actually are a lot faster than we were in summer when we were just kind of relaxing and kind of hanging back and being a little warm and easy on vacation. Things have amped up a little bit. If any of you are feeling that, say, feeling it in the comments below so that I'm not by myself here because I'm certainly feeling it. Well, I wanted to share five quick tips with you so that you know how to transition properly into fall season. Here are some things that can help you. First of all, let's start with exercise. Exercise, we should be grounding now our exercise. We're not running marathons. We're not doing stuff that's super fast and bouncy. Um, we are going to bring in the grounding with our feet flat on the floor with like bar exercises or yoga. Walking is good. Cycling is still good. Swimming is really awesome. But think about exercise as not being like super amped and bouncy and jump, jump, jump. Because as we roll into Vata season, Vata season's already fast. And as an Ayurveda, like increases like, so we don't want to increase the speed in our bodies because it'll increase the speed in our minds and other parts of our bodies as well in ways we don't want it to. So that's number one. Number two is overwhelm, right? So we're starting to multitask. If you have children, the children are back at school. They have extra scheduling now, which makes parents extra scheduled. Um, work initiatives are ramping up. We're trying to get everything done before the rest of the year. So a lot of different projects can come in this time of year, which can create some overwhelm. Like all of a sudden we've got tons of stuff. By the way, it's not even holiday yet. Uh, but overwhelm can happen. And so when we're trying to set our priorities straight, we really want to make sure that we're doing the things that really matter, the things that are really going to move us forward, and the things that are going to give us the most joy and the most traction with our work. So one of my favorite things that I tell my students that are in my membership is, you know, saying no is very, very powerful. Stripping out anything that doesn't really matter, that's not super urgent, is really, really powerful. We want to take and make our schedule and the things we have to do the most necessary, the most important that are going to move us forward, that are going to get our really good work done, and the rest, the favors, the last minute da-da-da's, the extra volunteering, the extra this and that, sometimes we have to say no to those things or say at least not right now. So sometimes saying no can be one of the greatest things that we do. Number three, get outside to clear your mind. If anybody else's favorite season is fall, say, I love fall in the comments. So again, I know I'm not by myself. I love fall. I think it's amazing. I want to spend as much time outside as possible. And especially for those of you where winter is going to come around the corner sooner rather than later, get outside while it's beautiful because nature is our home. Remember, so we're made of the same things that nature is, space, air, fire, water, earth, so is our bodies. So when we get outside, we feel so good. So make sure that you're taking time to spend outside before it gets too dark um, at nighttime, take your kids out now. Maybe they can go for a little walk or a little bike ride with you uh, before dinner. Um, could be so amazing to utilize the time that we have before winter. Number four is oils. So start including a little bit of oils. Now you don't have to go oily crazy because it's not super cold out yet and it's not super dry yet. That's when oils really come into play for Vata season. But for now, start bringing a little bit of oils into your food, you know, saute the vegetables in some oil, maybe drizzle a little olive oil on your pasta, maybe dip some of your bread into some olive oil, start to get a little bit of the oils into our bodies nicely. 
as we transition into Vata season. So while we're on foods, this is number five. So number five is start to transition our foods. We're no longer going to be, um, you know, craving those like stone fruits or um, grapes, berries. Well, we might crave them, but they're not going to be in season anymore. And so we're going to need to shift to some of those more fall-like fruits and vegetables, like apples, pears, we've got squashes, we've got potatoes, we've got Brussels sprouts, all of those things that are a little bit more grounding and rooted. And again, you don't have to flip over your entire diet just yet, but start to bring those in little by little because we're in the transition period. So as a summary, here are five things that you can start to do to transition into Vata season or fall and winter. First one is exercise feet on the ground, you could do nice weights, you could do yoga, you could do ballet bar, that's my dog Rio. Um, the second thing is when you're overwhelmed, start trimming stuff out. Don't stack everything on just because you're feeling all this extra vigor now that Vata season's approaching. You still have to protect your time so you can do the things that matter, so that you can do the things that are going to progress you, whether in work or home life or extracurriculars, whatever it is. Number three is get outside to calm the mind. If your mind gets racing, you feel that overwhelm, get outside in nature. It's our home. It's like our instant remedy. You'll feel amazing. Number four is start to bring in oils, a little bit of oils on your food, maybe even a little bit of oils on your skin to um, start to bring in some of that warmth and some of that unctuousness because the dry season is coming up. And number five is our food start to transition your fruits, vegetables to more of a vata balancing diet where we have a little bit more of the seasonal fruits now, as well as some of the grounding foods like rices, pastas, just start to transition a little bit. The raw vegetables and the very um, light and fresh sweet fruits from summer are no longer going to be in season. So let's start to transition that now. If this served you today, give me a shout below and let me know if you have any questions. I would love to know where your pain points, struggles, and questions are so that I can create good content for you so you can keep learning. So give me a like, share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that we can keep bringing Ayurveda to life. Mwah.